Hi guys. That you're coming back home. only blend my makeup to here for school because of the mask so i decided to actually blend the makeup down for this because it looked really weird so you're probably wondering what the art of making food is sarah and i we have decided that we want to make a series of us cooking food because we both love cooking food i love baking she loves cooking we thought it'd be great these videos are literally us just vlogging cooking they're not tutorials or not any of that anyways just enjoy and if you really want to know the recipe we'll leave a link in the description to the recipe if you really badly want to cook it but yeah i think i covered everything yeah so basically it's just a series of us vlogging us cooking food they go up once a week on wednesdays without further ado this is sarah's tutorial on how to stay safe how to stay safe how to stay safe in the kitchen hello there i'm sarah and today i'm going to talk to you about general kitchen safety come with me and let's get started do you have long hair like me if you answered yes you will have to tie it back before cooking now you may be asking why would i do that sarah well if you don't tie your hair back lots could go wrong it could get burned caught or fall into your food who wants that not me if you're like me, you love some nice comfy accessories, but let me tell you, those can cause a disaster in the kitchen. Imagine you're wearing your medal you got for coming first in a race. You're making pancakes, when suddenly your medal falls in the batter. What a shame, you should have taken it off before cooking. Now I don't know about you, but I love a big comfy hoodie. But what about those baggy sleeves? They could fall into your food or even catch on fire if they're too close to the stove. They could also get burnt if you're reaching into the oven and they touch the side. To prevent this, make sure you roll up those big sleeves. In the summer, it sure is nice to wear open-toed shoes. However, it is a bad idea to wear them in the kitchen. Having your toes exposed could be very dangerous. What if you drop a knife or a heavy object on them? Now that wouldn't be very fun. To make sure this doesn't happen, make sure you wear closed-toed shoes to protect your precious feet. It may seem like a hassle, but wearing an apron can really save the day. Imagine you're wearing your favorite article of clothing, like I am. What would you do if you got food on it and it left a stain? I would probably cry, and I bet you would do the same. By simply putting on an apron, you can save those clothes that you love so much. What a great solution. Oh wow! Look at you, ready to cook. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. And always remember to wash your hands as all good chefs do. Bye for now and happy cooking.